everyone. This is Abby here. We're going to be talking about prepositions today, but of course I hate boring grammar. Maybe you know that about me by now, so we're going to make sure we use it to enjoy a nice conversation together, okay? So welcome everyone. I hope to see you come into the class. Hello Emmanuel. Manal. You guys are filling up quickly. Ah, oh, it's the old gang back again. Two hours of English. You think that would be torture? <laughs> nice to see everyone. Welcome. Is the verbling chat working? I don't think so. Okay, we'll switch over to the G talk right away. Here. Hello everyone, welcome to the class. How's everyone doing today? Good. Maybe we can start with um, Abdallah. Abdallah, how are you doing today? Yes, I'm fine. How are you? Doing very good. You look very comfortable for your English class today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Where are you from? Nice to meet you. I'm Abdallah from Egypt. You're from India? Egypt. Egypt? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Your microphone is really quiet. I'm not sure if it's just me, but I can't hear you the greatest. Maybe you could turn up your volume a little bit? Yes. It's a bit off. Yes, that is a lot better. Thank you. Yes. Nice to meet you, Abdallah. Thank you for coming in. I think this is the first time I've had you in my class, so welcome. Yes, welcome. Very nice. Ahmed, you're back. How are you? Yeah, I am fine. My name is Ahmed. Wonderful. I'm very pleasure to study with you. Well, it is nice to meet you as well. Thank you for coming in. And Ahmed, I didn't get a chance to really get to know you. Where are you from? I am from Syria. Yeah. From where, sorry? I am from Syria. Syria. Awesome. Well, welcome to class. Thanks for coming in. And I recognize the next face. I think it's Emmanuel. I might be wrong. Yes, Emmanuel. How are you today? I'm doing well. Abby. How are you doing? I'm good. It's good to see you. Welcome back to the class. Yeah, thank you. Nice seeing you also. Very good. I'm glad you're having a good day. You sound happy today? Yes, of course. I'm very happy. Good. Happy. I like happy people. They're nice to have around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gustavo, long time no see. How you doing? Uh, very good. Thank you. Excellent. Very nice to see you again. Thank you for coming back. And then we have Juan. Juan Manuel, how are you? Hey teacher, I am fine. How are you? Great. Juan, I don't think I have met you before. Where are you from? I'm from Mexico and this is my first class in, with you. Yes, it is. And this is only my fir my third, sorry, my third class with Verbling. So, Welcome. Thank you for your patience. I'm still new and just learning how the system works, but I appreciate your patience, Juan. Thank you for coming in. Uh, thank you. Good work. And then we have Manal. Hello. Ah, okay. My, I think yeah. you said Manuel. <laughs> That's all right. Sorry, I thought it said Manal. It looks like a picture of rocks. Manal? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Yeah, hello, my name is Manal. I'm from Oman. That's it. Wonderful. Thank you for coming to class. I like it when I'm not the only girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that. I said, oh my gosh, I'm the only girl here. Just you and the teacher, yeah. We'll have to, yeah. we'll have to be very strong today and keep these boys yeah. in line. Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Next we have Manuel. Hi Manuel, how are you? Uh, fine, thank you. And you? I'm really good, thank you. It's nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm uh, from Spain and this is my third class uh, with you. Hola Manuel, ¿cómo está usted? 
Good, uh, very good. <laughs> Fine, very thank you. Nice. Muy bien. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for coming to class today, Manuel. What part of Spain do you live in? I currently live in the south of Spain, in Andalusia. Wonderful. I bet you it's beautiful there. How's the weather today? It's uh, cloudy with a, bit, uh, a little bit of rain today. And uh, we have uh, an average temperature about uh, 10, 10, 15 uh, degrees Celsius or, yes, Celsius degrees. Wonderful. Well, that's great. Thank you for Not coming. Cold. Not cold at all, no. I'm currently in the Dominican Republic, so I have a t-shirt on, but if I was in Canada, I would be wearing my warm clothing for sure. And Yusuf, nice to see you again. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Manal, why are you in a bad mood? What happened? Oh my gosh, did you read it? <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> That's why I entered your, your class. <laughs> You entered my class because you're in a bad mood? Yeah, so I think uh, to change my mood. Okay, well I'm going to be really happy then because I don't want to make you <laughs> upset. <laughs> Very nice. Um, Yusuf, you wanted to be in another hour of English. Do you often practice for two hours? Five hours. Five hours, oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah. I think I would die I if I... <laughs> no, these days, um, because I don't have anything to do, so I'm joining most of the classes in bed playing. And uh, it's it's interesting, and it's just not, not like uh, only Of studying. course, it's, it's interesting if Abby uh, teaches <laughs> hello. <laughs> that is no awesome. Comment. That is awesome that you came back because you're going to speak English. All you guys who come back to classes back to back, you're going to speak better English than me one day. Okay. Hmm. Well, thank you for coming in. It's nice to see everyone. We have Abdallah, Am Ahmed, Emmanuel, Gustavo, Juan. Oh, Keen. I think I missed you. Keen, how are you today? Keen, are you there? Maybe not. Manal, man. Okay, I think I've got everyone. So many people start their class and they say, okay, why do you want to learn English? But I think I have heard every reason in the book for wanting to learn English. So I'm going to ask you a different question today. I want to know what opportunity besides here in Verbling did you have to practice your English this week? We'll start with Abdallah. Tell me, when did you get to use English this week? When the uh, start, uh, this again, I uh, didn't. Uh, this is the question again, I didn't uh, hear it well. I'm going to write it for you in the chat box as well. When did you get? an opportunity to use your English this week? This week? Uh, what happened? Yes, I... Uh, the, it's the first, uh, first day in my uh, mid-year vacation. I. Uh, I had uh, an exams. I uh, have finished uh, my mid-year exams uh, yesterday, so uh, it's the first day to uh, to start. I uh, didn't start uh, before it. Okay, so you could say this is the first day I have started using my English this week. Yes. Okay. So you have to have lots of practice this weekend. You're going to have to find some English tourists in Egypt and practice yeah. with them, okay? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Ahmed, have you had an opportunity to use your English this week or maybe this weekend you plan on it? Yeah, of course, a long week. 
but I use my English. Well, tell us about it. Give us some details. Maybe when I went to the restaurant and bought some food, maybe in the cafe also. Because the stuff is all, all the other stuff is this. The stuff for uh, uh, Indian and Filipino stuff. So I use my English language. Awesome. Good job. Thank you for sharing that with us, Ahmed. And you're very easy to understand, so you're doing well. Keep up the good work. Emmanuel, Thank have you... you you're welcome. Emmanuel, have you had an opportunity to practice your English this week or use it on a native English speaker? Yeah, as uh, I'm living in India, and uh, English being one of the official languages, so I most of the time communicate with English speakers. I would say almost every single day. Wow, that explains why your English is so fluent then. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. That's awesome. Good job. What about you, Gustavo? Um, no, I only have the opportunity here, here in Berkeley because here all, all people uh, speak Spanish in my, in my country. Yeah, so that's another reason why verbling is so awesome. You can just come online and check it out and speak with an English native speaker. So awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Maybe this weekend you'll run into a, a tourist in Colombia. That should be your goal, to go up to an, a tourist and introduce yourself, okay? Yes, I, <laughs> I think that would be awesome for me. You can need to break out of your comfort zone. It'd be good for you. <laughs> Very nice. What about you, Juan? Do you have a, any plans to use your English this weekend, or did you use it last week? Well, actually, I, I, I used my English last Monday in an interview. Mm. Yeah. How did it go? Uh, I hope it, it, it was good. <laughs> Yeah. Me too. All the best. What was the job for? Can you tell us or no? Oh, it's, a, it's a position in United States, but you have to to call to speak fluently English, and, um, and that's one of the requirements. Okay, very good. Well, you better keep coming to your English classes to work on that because you're doing great. Yeah, that this is the best way to improve. Absolutely. Speak with native speakers. Keen, I didn't get a response from you before, but can you hear me now? Uh, hi, everyone. I hi, am Keen. Keen. I am from Egypt. Uh, this is the first time for me to join your class. Uh, I am very happy to speak to you and listen to you. Uh, thanks to Ver Verbling uh, for giving me uh, this chance. Uh, to speak to native speakers. Ah, Keen, that's awesome. Thank you for the nice introduction to yourself. It's awesome to have you in class today. My name is Abby. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. Have you ever visited anywhere outside of Egypt before? Uh, no, no. I, I, I hope so. I hope to visit United States and Canada. I recommend Canada. It's better. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and Manal, what about you? How do when when do you use your English? Why why do you know it? What do you use it for? Well, because I like it. Actually, I like it. Uh, but uh, besides inter um, verbaling, well, I'm gonna tell you my little secret. But don't let anybody say it. Yeah. So guys, hello. Mute uh, your microphone. Don't don't hear what I'm. <laughs> okay. So I think that I'm talking. Sometimes I'm talking to the mirror. I'm talking to myself just to improve my English. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah, really. Because I heard um, one day that my teacher said that uh, just talk you to yourself in, in the mirror in English. And I said, okay, I'm not the only one who will do that. 
No, I talk to myself yeah. too. I have to admit it. <laughs> really? Okay, so when I was when I was learning Spanish, and I'm still learning Spanish, you you're continually uh -huh. learning. Um, it's really good because you can hear yourself, and that they say that's the best way to do it. So keep it up, Manal. Don't let anyone tell you you sound you look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> only is it. <laughs> she knows. She knows it's crazy. So no need to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Manuel, what about you? Well, to me, uh, Berlin has, uh, has been a big discovery because I, can, I have assisted uh, this week to about uh, 10 classes, more or less, uh, and, and I like it. And also I, have, uh, I had uh, an exam the, on Wednesday in, in English. Um, and that's all. Very good. So you can use um, your verbling chats to improve your English for things like that. That's awesome. And Yusuf, what about you? Do you have anything to add to the topic of discussion? <coughs> yeah, um, of course, I don't speak to myself in the mirror. In front of the mirror. <laughs> <but> <laughs> he does. He does. <laughs> I know. But I know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I usually use my English uh, here in verb playing and online and when I'm catching up with uh, friends or with my cousins because they live in the USA so we all, uh, all the time I use English, trying at least to use English, but not with a mirror. <laughs> That's awesome, thank you. I know that Alberto talks to himself in the mirror, is that true? <laughs> No, I don't have mirror in my in my house. No mirrors, no TVs. I have to learn more about you. That sounds interesting. No mirror, no TV. No, I joke, I joke. I don't, but I don't speak to myself in by the mirror. But, uh, I speak uh, face to face from with some friends. I okay. do some do some language exchanges. I would like to learn a lot of languages, but I barely can speak mine and try to help people to learn it. Very good. Well, I guess not everyone's like us, Manel. We're the only special ones around here, but that's okay. Come on, we are a girl, so it's normal to use mirror. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very good. Okay, well, I'm going to send... Today we're going to talk about prepositions, and I actually chose this because not many people like to study grammar, but it's still important, right? It's still important if you want to speak fluently and be understood properly. So I chose something like prepositions because it's easy to have a conversation while learning how to use them. So I put the link there in the chat box if you guys just want to click on that. Mm -hmm. And what I thought we would do, we have a huge list of prepositions, but that would be really boring to go through all of them. So I thought each of you could choose one out of the list, um, starting on page two, three, and four. Choose one preposition that you would like to maybe use in a, in a sentence or what we can discuss how we use it in the English language. And we can just have an open discussion about it. So we're going to start with Ahmed. Ahmed, do you have the document in front of you? Maybe I'm not saying his... Ahmed Zezo? Hmm. He, it, he was here, but maybe he stepped away from his computer. So, Alberto, do you have the document in front of you? Yes, I have. Okay, awesome. So, why don't you go ahead, take a look on page one. Page one. And choose one of the prepositions on that list. Oh, sorry, page two. Page uh -huh. two. Choose one preposition. And we're going to discuss it. After? After. Okay, awesome. Does everybody have the PDF in front of them? Is everyone following us? Yeah. Yes. Okay, awesome. So let's take a look at after. What is the meaning of that preposition? Alberto. <laughs> Can I change preposition? <laughs> <laughs> it's right. It's right there on the document. How can how can I explain after without using the word after? 
difficult. That's a good question. What does it say under notes? Right, but right to the right of after. What do you see? Uh, later in time. Very <laughs> good. So now we have three examples. Maybe you can read those examples for us. Yes. I I have to read. Yeah, go ahead and read those three those mm -hmm. three examples okay. there. Okay. After the game, the players went to dinner. After lunch, I studied in a, in the library. The students were very tired after the exam. Okay. So in those three exam examples, Alberto, right after mm -hmm. the word after, what do we have in every single example? Uh, noun. Exactly, right? So that should give you an idea how we use it. Now what I want you to do is think of a sentence where, or create your own sentence using that preposition. You can write it into the chat box or you can just say it out loud and I can write it for you. Maybe think of a noun. Do you want some help? If you want if you want to call for help, you can. You wrote something? No, I want you to write to think of a sentence using the preposition after. Me? Yes, you. Ah. <laughs> Oh, sorry. That's okay. I, I, I was waiting to. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, after lunch, uh, I need um, a few minutes to rest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, la siesta. Very good. Everybody needs a siesta, right? Okay. Manal, that's a Spanish word, so don't let Alberto confuse you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Stop. Siesta is a nap, or like a maybe like a 15, 20 minute sleep yes. where that's you just one. rest for the oh, one hour. One hour. Or one, one hour. hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe nap. Oh. It's a nap. Very good. Ahmed, I thought you had disappeared on us. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, I have just uh, gone away for two minutes. Very good. So let's think of other things that you might do after lunch. Emmanuel, what else might you do after lunch? After lunch, I might go and uh, play football with my friends. Fantastic. That's a really good sentence. I'm, I might go play football with my friends. You might have a sore stomach from exercising right after lunch. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially if you eat like Alberto does, because it sounds like he needs to nap after, right? <laughs> Very good. Anyone else can think of anything else you might do after lunch? What might you do after work? Hussein, can you think of something you might do after work? I don't know if I have lunch. Have lunch after, after work. Lunch. <laughs> after work. Okay, okay, we'll put it in there. I think everybody needs a nap to get the creative juices flowing here. After lunch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, after work we need to have lunch. Okay. Um, Juan, what do you like to do when you are finished work? Uh, go to the to the gym or, or see some friends. Awesome, I like that. You said, I like to go to the gym. That's perfect. That's a great thing to do after you've been sitting all day at your job, right? Really good. Nice preposition, yeah, yeah. Alberto. <laughs> what Thank was you. that? What was that, Manal? I, I said, can you? after Come on, after work. To go to the gym? Oh yeah, I guess. Uh, I I would go maybe, to the gym. Maybe maybe because 
I'm a little bit lazy. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe the gym isn't for you. What would you do after work then? Me? Well, I yeah. think have, uh, what can we say? Have, have a nap or take a nap? What? How you can could, we say? You could say either of those. Both, you could say have a nap or take a nap. So I guess I'm going to do that. Okay. After work, I will take a nap. Okay. Excellent. So in there, we have a good idea of when we use that preposition, right? We, need, we want to refer to a later time. We can use the preposition after. It is... Ahmed, are you there? Yes, um, yes. Okay, I want you to pick a preposition from the list and we're going to discuss it just like we did with that one. Just one minute. Beside. Beside. Okay, that's on page three. Go ahead and read the meaning of that. Of course, meaning is two. Examples. I stood beside Mr. Johnson. The chair is beside the table. Fantastic. So these are fairly simple sentences here. Let's see if you can be a little bit more creative than our examples here. Um, can you give me a sentence using the preposition beside? Yeah, of course. My work, uh, my uh, uh, flat is beside my father's flat. My flat is beside? My father's flat. My father's Flat. Good use of that possessive pronoun there. My father's flat. Okay. My flat is beside my... What's it like to live next to your father? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's an imagination one. Okay. It's not real. <laughs> I don't think I could li live next to my mother, but hopefully she's not watching this live broadcast. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to kill her. <laughs> No, actually, the truth is, the truth is, my mother is visiting, and she's got a great sense of humor, so she's probably laughing right now. <laughs> okay. Very good. That's a fantastic use of beside. Now, Alberto, what is something that you do not want to live beside? Give me a complete uh, sentence. Oh, difficult. <laughs> can you give me a few minutes? <laughs> okay, no problem. Emmanuel, can you think of anything? What is something, Emmanuel, that you do not want to live beside? Oh, yeah. I don't like leaving my girlfriend beside. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Say it again, again, again. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's... That's weird. That's, oh, that's, that's <laughs> <weird. laughs> Does she know? She does now. I tell you, she does now. <laughs> I don't like living beside my girlfriend. You just like your space, yeah. right, Emmanuel? Sorry? You just like to have your space, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. I, I think that's... I don't think she would be upset with that. <laughs> Can we sure? say I don't, I don't living beside... I don't it's, living? Yeah, it's written there, I don't living. Uh, you could say you could say I don't live, but we're we're trying to use the, the verb um, what he would not like to live beside, right? So this one is it correct? I don't living beside my uh, girlfriend? Um, I'm, I couldn't quite hear your conjugation of live. You could say, I don't live beside my girlfriend. Yeah, uh, that's why I was asking about the sentence it's written in the chat. So it's not correct, right? Um, the wife... I don't... Something? Yeah, yeah, Abby, look. I don't oh, yes, you're right. Because... You're right. I made a mistake. <laughs> Sorry. It's right. It happened. I don't live. That's what I. That's what happens when I type and talk at the same time. You're correct, Yusuf. You Thank you for on, catching that. It. I don't live beside. 
my girlfriend. No, this is what the problem was here. I meant to say I don't like living beside my girlfriend. That's the problem there. I forgot to say like. I don't like living beside my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that no, makes sense. Okay, good. I'm glad okay, I cleared then that Abby, up. Okay, Abby, we mm -hmm. use um, beside with uh, in another context, like just um, besides he said that, I don't know. I, I don't have the... Like, like uh, I... I uh, I study. Right I st I study uh, Spanish besides English. Can I say that? Yeah, actually, look back on the PDF. Right beside, right below, <laughs> beside, is besides. And you notice when you add that s, uh -huh. yeah, it does, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does change it, right? It makes it in addition yeah. to. Yeah, well, that was, that's what I mean. Does that answer your question, Manal? Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. Excellent job. Thank you, Amit. Oh, Amit's gone. That was his preposition. <laughs> Poor Amit. He left us. Okay, so you would not like to live... He would... Emmanuel does not like to live beside his girlfriend. What about you, Alberto? What do you not like to live beside? I don't want to live beside the noisy discotheque. Oh, that would be terrible. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to live beside a noisy discotheque. Now, in English, we don't really call it a discotheque. Who knows what we uh, call it? Dis a discotheque. Club. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. A club, maybe even we could say club or mm -hmm. nightclub. Yeah. All right. Sometimes we even just use the word bar, but that can mean many different things. So. Mm -hmm. Excellent job. Why would you not like to live there, Alberto? What's the reason for that? Uh, because they want to have people that uh, go go there. They want to have fun when I'm not in the mood, maybe, <laughs> or uh, I want, or I need to sleep. Yeah, exactly. If I want to go to this, <laughs> to to clubbing, if I want to uh, go to club. Uh, I take her and go. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Need, I don't need beside me. No, that's no fun. I don't think many people would like that, right? Excellent job. So that's a good preposition too. And I'm glad that you mentioned that, Manel. Besides, if you add the S, it can mean in addition to. So besides speaking yeah. English, I also speak Spanish or Italian or whatever else, right? Yeah. Thank you for bringing that out, Manel. Let's head over to... Um, Carmen, welcome to the class. How are you? Si, hello. How are you? I am good, Carmen. How are you today? <laughs> well, I hope um, mejor, uh, mejor, best uh, the past day, el, an el día anterior. You hope that you are better today than yesterday? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. The last, uh, the last day, uh, I had a uh, problem uh, with my communication. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, you sound good today. We hear you just fine. Exactly. The sound, my sound. Well, welcome, Carmen. I'm going to send you te voy a enviar el PDF in the chat Pepe. box. Okay. I no, le tengo, tengo, tengo. Okay. I had, I Perfect. have. So, Emmanuel, <laughs> Emmanuel, this is this is an English class, so I'm not going to speak Spanish. Emmanuel, did you choose a preposition, or is it your turn now to choose one from the list? Mm -hmm. Emmanuel. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm picking uh, this one. Um, between. Between. Okay, what's the meaning of that? Uh, I think that it means um, in the midst of. Hey, that was pretty good. Yeah, he used an expression in the midst. Midst of. And that's another way of saying in the middle of, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe oh. Juan, Juan Manuel, could you read the two examples there? Okay. Uh, mm, the blue car 
is between the red and the white and the white ones. I was sitting between Toshiko and Nabuko. Okay, excellent job. So now I'm going to get Juan Manuel. I want you to tell me, use a, write a sentence or say a sentence of you being between something. Maybe your office or your house. Who? You. Ah, sorry. That's um, okay. Um, my room is between my sister's um, room. Did you say my sister's and my mother's room? Yeah. Okay, very good. My room is between my sister's room and my mother's room. What does your sister say when you are really noisy? Uh, she just said, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you have a nice sister, Juan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good job. Um, Keen, I would like you to think of an example of what you would not like to be between. Maybe your office. Uh, okay, my office uh, is between uh, the library and the headmistral office. And the what office? Headmistral's. Head, head, boss. Huh. The boss. That's very convenient, Keen. Do you ever have to mail things after work? Sorry, I can't hear God. Please repeat. Do you ever mail things after work? Mail. Mail. Take a look in the chat box, too. Okay. Just like send a message or send. You go to the post office to mail a letter, to mail a payment, a package? Uh, uh, office. Uh, no, not post office. Office, a room. A room. Hmm, maybe you could... Maybe you could type that into the chat box, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, Keen. I, I have a technical problem, I solve it. No problem. No worries at all. Okay, let's move on to a new preposition. It's Joe. Hi. Hi, Joe. Do you want to choose a preposition from the list? Uh, yes, I read. <clears throat> beyond. You're going to choose beyond. That's a difficult one. Okay, what's the meaning of beyond? Uh, more than and farther than. And the example? I Ines became rich beyond her wildest dreams. Javier looked beyond the blue horizon. Okay, so can you think of an example where we might use this, Joe? Uh, beyond, uh, <laughs> no, for the moment. <laughs> okay, I'm going to write a sentence into the chat box, and I want everyone to tell me what they think it means. Okay. Maybe we could get... Um, Manuel Fain, could you read the sentence? Look beyond her appearance. What do you think that means? Anybody? You have to yeah. look inside, inside the, the, the person, the feelings or uh, anything more than the physical appearance. So yeah. their feelings or... Okay, awesome. That's exactly what it means. Why is that important? When you have a, fr a friend, why is it important to look beyond their appearance? 
Yusuf, can you tell me? 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 I was going to say Yusuf. Yeah, that's Yusuf, I guess. <laughs> um, okay. It's it's um, very important to look beyond uh, someone's appearance, to look deep inside him, because appearance um, doesn't show you everything. and You cannot judge people from their appearance only. That's very, very true. I might look very friendly, but I'm actually very mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, that. it's not true. It's not yeah, true. As, uh, as, as there's a proverb which goes, uh, you can't recognize a book by its cover. Mm-hmm. Very good, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Can anyone think of any other reasons or examples of why it's important to look beyond appearance? Maybe not with a person. What What's something else that you'd want to look beyond the appearance of it? Or applying to our work, for example. Okay. How so? The behavior. Excellent. Okay, very good. Alberto, what about buying a car? Why would it be important to, to look beyond the appearance of a car when you want to buy it? Because you need that uh, it works too. <laughs> but it's shiny and it's red and it's beautiful. Is that good enough? <laughs> uh, so maybe if it's a second-hand car, maybe they have cleaned it very well but maybe the engine doesn't work, so you have to look beyond. Exactly. Yay! That's fantastic. So that's how you use that preposition, beyond. It's a tricky one, but very, very important that we understand. It can be something physical or it can be something different like that, right? Any questions mm -hmm. on that? Nope. I want to point out, Keen wrote a great sentence. He said, his office is between the office of his boss and the library. Keen, that was an awesome sentence using um, the, the preposition between. Thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, also, between, can we use it in, in other contexts like we say, um, I hate to be forced to choose between two things I love, something like this, in, in this context also, or really in places. Fantastic. See, that's what we need. The, the creative juices are flowing. You guys are starting to think in English. That's great. <laughs> okay, let's move on to Juan. I want you to choose one preposition. And you don't have to choose the next one. Choose any preposition you'd like to discuss. Uh, me? Mm, uh, I had some problem with before. Before. Okay. Go ahead and read the meaning of it. Meaning earlier in, in time before breakfast I took a walk a walk. I would like to finish before noon the movie and then before ten o'clock. Perfect. So Juan, that is the exact opposite of what other preposition? La well that's I thought, yeah, I understand what you say that is the opposite of after, no? Yeah, exactly. But I just discovered that I am reading a book, and there is a sentence that said, that said, um, we have a long ride before us, and the meaning change is like ahead or something like that. Yeah, that's a good one. Again, the English language can be a little bit annoying, can't it? Because we kind of, <laughs> we change things like that all the time. Mm, okay. But you have a good understanding of that, Juan. That meant ahead of us or in front of yeah. us. Okay? Yeah. You. you could also say, before me, I have a computer right now. My computer. Oh, yeah, really? I want to, I was about to ask you. Go ahead, Manal. Yeah, I want to, uh, because I remember my teacher uh, said, um, I, I, I can't remember behind, before, I don't know. It, it means that it's um, in, in front of you. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, I, I couldn't remember the word. Well, that that's exactly it. You can use before me, okay? Yeah. Very good. Before me, I have nine students on my computer screen, right? Something that's in front of you, right? Yeah. Excellent, Keen. Yeah. yeah, before me, in front of me, this very synonymous, okay? So, I would like you to use it as a time preposition, one. Maybe use it in a time preposition sentence. We're not talking about in front of, we're talking about uh, it as time. Okay. Uh, before going to war, I uh, eat something. Okay, very good. What do you like to eat for breakfast? Uh, fruits, okay. Uh, no pollen. No. Mmm, that sounds good. Some lechosa? What? Some papaya? <laughs> no, I don't like papaya. You don't like... Nobody no. likes papaya. Why is that? Nah. Because it's papaya. <laughs> yeah, it's good. this is not like... <laughs> I think I'm the only one who likes papaya. Every time I ask, people say, no, I don't like papaya. I prefer sandia. Uh, That's watermelon. not the case with me. I like papaya because in Africa there are lots of papaya. High oh, five, really? Manuel. I like papaya too. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's good for you. Lots of good enzymes in it. But so, it makes you feel asleep and lazy. What? Yeah, it's true. I, I read about that. Maybe it's the enzymes. <laughs> 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 okay, so what is something, I'm going to ask Keen. Keen, are you listening? Yeah, yeah. What is something you like to do before you eat a meal? Before... <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> 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 Are you asking guys? <laughs> uh, 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 I'll be hanging. They don't do it. They, do, they all always. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I wash my hand. There you <laughs> go. You go. <laughs> I wash my hand. <laughs> I am so happy to hear that. <laughs> I am so happy. <laughs> I am I'm so happy to participate with you in this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so funny? I thought everybody washed their hands before a meal. Why yeah, is this yeah. so funny? <laughs> guys, they don't do it. In general, guys, they, they don't do it. They just want to eat. <laughs> are you guys going to defend yourselves or are you going to let Manal say that you don't wash your hands before you eat? These are stereotypes. <laughs> <laughs> Alberto, you should say discrimination against men. <laughs> Although Manel, I think you might have a point. It's not Mr. true. I wash I washed my hand yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday. Oh good. Good. And maybe tomorrow okay. too. In yesterday in the morning, at night. <laughs> That's important, too. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad to hear we are all clean people, and we are <laughs> going to move on to the next preposition. Juan, that was a really good choice. Thank you. Keen, can you choose a different preposition from the list? Okay. Uh, may I choose two? <laughs> Not one? Okay, go ahead. N. Uh, uh, on, in, and on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now these are very probably two of the most commonly used prepositions yeah. in English, so I'm sure you're all familiar with them. Yeah. What is right. uh, Which one? In, Which one? In, uh, in, in, and on. Uh, and on. Okay, uh, Keen, can you read the meaning of in? Uh, meaning inside, in meaning inside. Uh, I, I'll read the example. Mm -hmm. 
the check is in my pocket. Okay, very good. What else do you have in your pocket? Uh, every day I put my pen in my bag. Put my pen in my bag. Did I get that right? Yeah. Perfect. That's an excellent example. So here's your bag, and the pen goes inside the bag, right? Inside, uh, inside my bag. Oh, okay. Very uh, good. Now, on. okay, go ahead and read on. On, meaning on top of and about. The bag is on the table. Excellent. I, I read a book. On the uh, elections of 2008. You read a book on elections in 2008. Yeah. Okay, that's another really. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay, so now we're going to have a little bit of a change of pace. We are going to take a look at something and we are going to use the prepositions to discuss the different pictures on here. So I'm going to put a screen share on as well. And let's go ahead and start with um, Manal. Yeah. Tell me about picture A using a preposition. On. On. No, because I'm looking. They're, they're all. Uh, Okay, what, A and B, E, all on. Give me a sentence for picture A. Uh, okay, uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, the dog is on the chair. Is on. Excellent job. You used a great example of your definite article there. That was perfect. The dog is on the chair. That dog looks a little bit crazy, doesn't he? <laughs> oh my gosh, a red dog. Okay, let's move over to Manuel. Can you tell me about picture F? F. Um, F, the dog is in front of the picture. Perfect. What do you see in the picture, Manuel? It's a beach with a sunny day and a tree. Wonderful. So it looks like the south of Spain. Yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Nicely done. Excellent job. Yusuf. Yes. Picture G. Uh, G. Is that is that a cat? Okay. <laughs> the cat <laughs> looks like a tiger. Good question. <laughs> the cat behind the, the behind the disc. Easy. Desk. Mm, what do you think that is? Me? Yeah, the cat is behind what? It's a desk. It's, uh, it's a sure, you can say, yeah, you could just you, say furniture. Yusuf, just say that thing. And um, we were gonna. <laughs> that thingy. Very good. The cat behind that thing. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, Alberto, it's your turn. I want you to talk about, so just not one sentence, I want you to actually talk about picture J. 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 What is that? Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. The cat is on the... I don't know. We're going to call it a dresser. Uh-huh. What? Okay. Sorry? A dresser. Look in the a chat. Dresser. dresser. And the dog is beside them. Okay, very good. Carmen, what is the dog waiting for? Which? <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Carmen, tell me. For lunch. <laughs> what is? 
That's not fair. You have to give Carmen her turn. <laughs> Please. Carmen, what is the dog waiting for? For the cat. Uh, waiting for uh, in, you know um, in which at which in which for <coughs> if, if I don't understand. Espera. <coughs> what? Ah, vale, 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 vale. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what in what in for her own? The dog is waiting for. Uh, lunch. No, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's food. You, uh, his food. Sleeping. Perfect. That's fantastic. <laughs> Emmanuel, Thank what you. what should the cat do, Emmanuel? Sort. What should the cat do? <clears throat> In picture J? Yeah. I think that the cat should... Uh, <laughs> shouldn't get down. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. The cat should not jump down. Excellent, excellent job. Joe, I want you to explain picture H. In the picture H, I command uh, the, the television is between of the cat and dog. Woohoo! That was perfect. <laughs> Thanks. Nice, nice use of that preposition between. <laughs> Applause for Joe. That was perfect. <laughs> okay, and then Thanks. Juan Manuel. This one's especially for you, L. The what is that? An stereo? I think so. The the dog is. In front of the stereo. The dog is in front of the stereo. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent job. Um, and then the last one, I believe, Keen, and it's along with the preposition that you wanted to use. So tell us about D. The cat uh, is on the, I think, cupboard. Mm hmm. The cat is in the cupboard and the dog. And the dog is behind the cupboard. Yeah, he's sneaking. He's sneakily looking around the cupboard, right? Okay. Keen, what is the dog waiting for? It's waiting for his turn. <laughs> His turn in the cupboard. <laughs> that could be, actually. Maybe he thinks it's fun to sit in the cupboard. Awesome job, you guys. Thank you so much. That you, is Jim. it for our lesson on prepositions. Now, we have a couple of minutes before we close. So are there any maybe questions or comments that you guys have, suggestions for me? Be nice, though. <laughs> Come on, guys, say something. No, no, just um, if I say something, it's just thank you. That's it. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for coming. It was nice to see you, Alberto, Carmen, Emmanuel, Joe, Juan, Keen, so Manal, thank you so much, Manuel, and Yusuf. Thank you so much for coming to thank class. You. Thank you, Thank you teacher. We have fun. I, nice to meet you all. For those of you that I didn't know already, thank you for coming and trying out my class. I hope to see you guys again soon, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thanks so much. Bye. All right. Take care. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye. Bye.